Global Response Team. This is your pilot speaking. We're presently in a holding pattern over the city, waiting for a runway. Currently, it's a toasty 36 degrees in Toronto. That's 102 Fahrenheit for our American friends. Ground control, I'm having engine problems. I need clearance for landing right away. I repeat, having engine problems need... So do this city a favor and turn down your air conditioners and lights. Let's conserve and preserve the electrical power for all of us. I need a cell phone. Everyone in my class has one. You're not getting a cell phone, Zoe. You spend way too much time on the phone as it is. Ah, but if I had a cell phone, it would free up our line at home. You'd never have to yell at me to get off it again. Good argument, Counselor. I'm not changing my mind. You wait, Judge Dad. I'll win this case yet. If we all pitch in and turn off that extra appliance, we just might not end up in the dark. <sighs> this is flight 459. We're gonna lose engine two. Repeat, I still need to land this plane. No! No reason to panic, folks. Just a power outage. Remain in your seats and the backup generator will be on before you can say, Honey, I'm home. Happy birthday to me. Well, look at that. Today is a special day. Nah, it's no big deal. No big deal? It's only the start of Amarillo's Plump Pig Festival. Back home, that's pretty much as big as Christmas. Zooey! Oh, right. That special day. Somehow, I got stuck with chef duty this week. Any requests? No, thanks. Although it might be nice to have some cake for dessert with a little ice cream. Uh, weren't you the one who said we should keep away from sweets? Quite possibly. Incoming communication. This is Sam Sparks. The city of Toronto just experienced an event code CID. City in darkness. Air traffic has been diverted except for one plane. It has a damaged engine and needs to land immediately. Willie, Sergeant, Aiden and I are on the scene. We need backup. We're there. It's go time. Told you things would be back to normal, didn't I? What was that? A minor glitch. It's nothing to worry about. Control, I need help and I need it now. Do you copy? This is Aiden Assist of the Rescue Heroes. I need you to listen carefully. We have cleared the street and lit a makeshift runway for you. It'll be narrow. You think you can land your plane on it? I could land this thing on a strip of bacon if I had to. Then let's bring you home. Let there be light. I can see it now. I'm coming in. PCU just picked up a reading from the subway's generator. It's being overloaded because of the blackout. It's a quarter of a mile from this stalled passenger train. It could explode into a large fireball and travel straight through the tunnel. We have to get the commuters out of there before it goes up. Willie, Aiden, Sergeant, you help bring this bird down. Copy. Jake, Sam, we'll head below. This is Billy Blazes. I need to speak to the person in charge of the northbound express train. This is the train operator. I want you to move everyone aboard to the front car. From there, you'll be evacuated. We're going in. It's coming from the generator. Each time the ground shakes means that we're much closer to blowing. There they are.
I don't like the looks of that. That makes two of us, mate. I'm Billy Blazes. We're here to help. Look out! Hold on. Nice and easy. going on? I can't keep this thing up much longer. I need you to keep on heading down toward a landing. Do you copy? Trust me. Down is the only way this thing is headed. I need all rescue personnel to grab whatever light source they can find. Flares, flashlights, pen lights. If it shines, I want to see it. Willie, I need you in the Night Force rescue vehicle. Let's bring this baby home. There goes that exit. We'll head out through the back and find another way out of the tunnel. Folks, we need to evacuate. Please stay calm. It's a workman's elevator. It could be our escape route. And with this mini volt we brought, Powering it up should be a snap. We're going forward. Activate lights now. Flight 459, do you see us? As bright as day. I'm coming in. Just follow the flashing red light. And I thought working the night shift would be boring. Third floor, sporting goods. Well, at least it's bigger than a bread box. We'll have to go in groups. The first group will be you three. Sam, I want you to escort them up. Got it. generator must be overloading the system. Get down! <coughs> Billy, we're fine up above. I'm taking the passengers to safety. Copy. There's a manhole just ahead. It may be our only hope. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, uh. Follow me. Come in, Willie. I need you to listen. We don't have a second to lose. Got it. Sergeant, you stay here. Aiden, follow me. Keep it moving. Oh. Willie, move it out. We're almost there. Now! Billy? Where's Billy? <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> oh, it's nice to know you care. <laughs> okay, final argument. If I have a cell phone, you and Mom will be able to reach me anytime, anywhere. Excellent closing, Counselor. I find in favor of your case and award you one cell phone. All in all, a pretty special day, right, William? Yeah, it really is. Since a blackout can occur at any time, have a flashlight loaded with fresh batteries available by your bedside. If you happen to find yourself stuck inside an elevator, ring the alarm bell and wait for help. Always remember these two things. Remain calm and don't panic. Oh no, another blackout? For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny.
and I thought you forgot. Think like a rescue hero. Think safe.